Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and I've always told out of voice radio, and this today, ladies and gentlemen, is a very good day indeed. We've got a new GX to talk about. Actually, too, the other video for that's going to be coming rather shortly, and it's always a good day when we've got new GXs to talk about. But we're going to start with the old fan favourite, Dragonite GX. Everyone loves Dragonite. He's a Gen 1 Pokemon, very popular. Is he any good in GX form? I'm actually willing to say yes. I believe he actually is. Now, starting off with the basics here, 250 HP. That is a lot of hit points. Now, we expected it to be quite high because of the fact that he had 160 HP in a non-GX or baby form. Hey, Nick. But even so, this is beastly. It's about as high as HPs get at the moment. You have a weakness to Fairy, which is a bit of a pain with Gardevoir running around. But having said that, we are expecting the new Solgaleo in October, which should put an end to all those Gardevoir shenanigans. Retreat cost to free is very high, but you have Heavy Ball, so it could be worse. And being a Dragon Pokemon, you are hitting literally nothing for weakness which sucks. Having said that, being a Dragon Pokemon, you do have Devoured Field, and a couple of cards that are going to get their own videos very shortly. Altaria means you do an extra 20 damage, and Zinnia can be used to accelerate energy. The video on that will be up one to two hours after this one. And it is a Stage 2 Pokemon, which means you need to use something like Rare Candy or the GX attack from this Pokemon to get it into play. It's not as hard as it might initially look. And of course, while we're talking about getting Dragon Pokemon into play, we do need to mention the Altaria from Crimson Invasion. Single colorless energy, flip a coin, if heads, search for a Dragon Pokemon and put it straight onto your bench. That does not have to be a Dragon Pokemon. You could, and you could even use something like a Wally here to use it on turn one of the game. You could actually, and this could be fun, get a turn one Altaria. Flip with Draco Melody and get a Stage 2 Dragonite straight onto the bench. But of course, as with all of these Pokemon, we need to know what it actually does because the attacks are going to determine whether it's actually playable or not. First attack, 1 Lightning Energy, 70 damage. For 1 Basic Energy, this is pretty gosh darn good. Now what really does suck is the fact that you're not hitting anything for weakness here. That is a little bit of a problem. If you were hitting for weakness, we could be getting GX KOs for a single energy and that would be sweet. But you're not, so that's kind of a pain. But you've got Devoured Field, which means you can do an extra 10 damage. You've got Altaria, which means you can do an extra 20 damage. You've got Choice Band, which means you can do an extra 30 damage all of that adds up to 130 to a gx or 100 to a non-gx because you don't get choice band for a single energy yeah no one hit ko's but it does mean you're two hit koing basically everything and of course you got 250 hp you're attacking for a single energy this is where we start thinking about max potion you can use ace roller here as well and it wouldn't be a bad thing to use ace roller but you do need to consider the fact that you are a stage two so you've been put into play by either rare candy or one of the other things we're talking about in this video that is a bit of an issue in terms of using ace roller and getting it back but you can use max potion here you're two hit KOing it's very unlikely you're going to get one hit KO'd and then the whole time you can make sure that you're healing so your opponent's just not KOing you and it gives you a lightning attacker that isn't weak to fighting because of course at the moment most lightning attackers think something like Raichu GX they are weak to fighting Buzzwall is everywhere and of course Zoroark is being countered and Zoroark is weak to fighting. So if you've got a lightning deck, it's a good thing to have a Pokemon that's not weak to fighting. This will fit the bill, but do remember that as long as it will fit the bill, it's not hitting for lightning weakness. This is a good attack. As is the second attack. Water, lightning, double colorless, 200 damage. During your next turn, this Pokemon cannot attack. And you're just one hit KOing everything with this. If you play a Devoured Field, that puts you up to 210. You're getting a one hit KO on Zoroark on Golisopod. At a Choice Band, you're hitting 230. That gets you a one hit KO on Gardevoir. So, you know, they'll be one hit KOing you, but you'll be one hit KOing them. 
you can trade one hit KOs. With an Altaria and a Choice Band, you're hitting 250. That's enough to get a one hit KO on something like a 250 HP Solgaleo GX. So basically here, you're one hit KOing anything. You might need to use a little bit of damage amplification here or there, but to be perfectly honest with you, it really is one hit KO on anything. And I know there's that thing that you can't attack during your next turn. Well, it hasn't stopped Boswell, and it hasn't stopped Volcanion, so I very much doubt it will stop Dragonite. You've got Dawnwings Necrozma, which can be combined with Floatstone to give you a free retreater every single turn. Every deck is playing Guzma at the moment, so you can always play one of those to switch to the bench. Maybe you switch to something that's got a Floatstone and free retreat. Maybe you just switch to another attacker. Either way... This is not a particularly big hurdle. It hasn't been for Volcanion. It hasn't been for Boswell. It wasn't for Lapras during that really weirdly brief period of time when Lapras GX was a viable deck, and it won't be a problem for Dragonite. If anything stops Dragonite being a viable Pokemon, it won't be this. Biggest issue here, the energy cost. Because it's four energy. Now, good news, you can use Double Dragon Energy in Expanded. Other good news, we have got Zinnia, which, as I said, will help you to accelerate energy. Unless you're listening to this in the first hour, hour and a half after it gets put up, you will be able to click a link in the description and learn more about Zinnia. Long story short, it accelerates energy to Dragon Pokemon. That's going to help you with something like this. Two colorless means you can use double colorless energy here. In Expanded, you can just use double colorless and double dragon, kind of like we used to for Giratina. But given that you've got the combination of Zinnia, and you've got double colorless energy, and in Expanded double dragon energy here, I really do think there are going to be people that make this work. And remember, even if you can't get four energy on here to one hit KO anything, you've still got the option to pretty much two hit KO anything using the first attack. And then of course we're thinking, well that's all well and good, but come on, is the GX attack any good? Yes! Yes, it actually is! Free colorless energy, and I should say that like with the last couple videos, the translation here comes from the lovely David Hockman over at LimitlessTCG.com. Free colorless energy, which means you can use double colorless, Search your discard pile for free dragon Pokemon and put them onto your bench. And just like we said about with Altaria earlier, these do not have to be basic dragon Pokemon. So if you get one Dragonite out, you can then use this GX attack to get another free Dragonite out, which means even though you're mucking around trying to use something like a rare candy to get your first Dragonite, Dragonites 2, 3, and 4 can be considerably easier. And this is very much like Archie's Ace in the Hole or Maxi's Hidden Ball trick. But they could only get one Pokemon. It's very much, very much in fact, like Ho-Oh GX's GX attack. Except that could only get Dragon EX's or GX's. And the reason Ho-Oh's GX attack has never been any good... We've never had any EX or GX fire Pokemon we really wanted to accelerate with this. I've always been a big fan of getting Incineroar GX, but not a lot of people have agreed with me. Whereas here, if nothing else, you can get the rest of your Dragonite. But how about using the Dragonite from Sun and Moon? Heck, you could even use Como OGX here, but don't because it's rubbish. The thing is, with the GX attack here, Dragonite will actually fit into any deck you want it to, because you could just play it with colorless energy so that you can use this GX attack. Or you can play it in a lightning deck as a bulky Pokemon that does a decent amount of damage for one energy. Or you can use it as an attacker in its own right, make a Dragonite deck, using the GX attack to get your Dragonites out, and then one hit KOing anything with a second attack, or two hit KOing with the first attack. 
And even these bulky non-GXs, think of something like Empoleon. You cannot use a choice band to try and get a KO on an Empoleon. It won't work, it's not a GX. But you play a Devoured Field here, you're hitting for 80, so you're still getting a comfortable two-hit KO on Empoleon. I mean, there's still a single prize Pokemon, so the prize race might not be in your favor, but I'm hoping you get the point here. Maybe you use Dragonite's GX attack to grab yourself one of the new guard chomps from Ultra Prism that after playing a Cynthia will allow you to do 200 damage for free energy. I don't know is the honest answer, but we've got a huge bulky Pokemon with a good single energy attack, a beefy attack that can one hit KO anything, and a GX attack that can set up a whole bunch of different good attackers. The other thing I've got to mention here is the fact that you can always hope for a double dragon energy reprint. Because if you get a double dragon energy reprint here, this gets even better. Worth it in Expanded, and remember in Expanded you can use Battle Compressor to get those Pokemon in the discard that you want. And, you know, always consider just dumping a bunch of the new Altaria in the discard so you can hit for an extra 20 damage. And by 20, I mean 60 if you get free Altaria, etc. It's just a great Pokemon. I'm giving it between 4 and 5 Wossies. We don't give half Wossies that would be barbaric. Maybe it's just because the last few cards I've reviewed haven't been very good. I know it's a stage 2 and it's going to be inherently awkward. I get that. I promise you I do. But oh my goodness, all of these attacks are great. And now with Zinnia and Altaria, those videos are coming very shortly, I promise. And Devoured Field, Dragon Pokemon now actually have some tricks and this could be fun. But as always, ladies and gentlemen, I want to hear from you guys. So let me know in the comment section what you think about this. Go nuts! But be nice. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wossy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get a bonus podcast, etc., and by one I mean several, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio. That's where that happens. But by far the most important thing, as always, is to look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching. PTCG Radio.